Hey, hey everyone, it's Aiki here and welcome back to my channel. Alright, in this video I'll show how you can install Builder Bot Mode for survival. So uh, let's go to the game files, right click on the game, properties, local files and browse local files. Alright, now let's move this one aside and close this one because we won't need it anymore. Now uh, let's go to the workshop and find the Builder Bot for you, you'll have to go through the how you how you usually find all the mods, but for me, I went through my workshop. All right, so now we are here. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Then go down, and here is install instructions, which is actually really really simple. All right, so the first thing you want to do is, as you can see, you need to open character database file, which is located in survival file folder. So we open it, the local files. Go to survival, then look for characters and characters database. Alright, so I have already shark inside and also let me actually open it with a text editor because most likely you'll have text editor not the notepad plus plus which I actually recommend. Alright, so open with notepad because this you'll really have in the default window right now. Let's see, you need to copy everything including like this small bit here copy everything from this box copy and paste let's see where does it say where we need to paste it under first like this symbol like a rounded thing not really sure how how you can call it in english right and you can see here's the first we scroll to top here's the first and simply anywhere where you want just paste and it's already pasted. Don't worry about that. It looks like really weird and so on. That and you don't really understand what's there. You don't really need to understand. It's just that it's really important that you copy everything. So even this like small comment is here and close and and save and close. So basically, right now you all you have already installed the builder, but in the game it's just that you can't really access it anyhow. All right. So and now let's open the effects. And we need to copy this whole thing. Let's again copy everything. Copy and we need to copy under first. It's like a square bracket thingy. So uh, let's go back to scrap mechanic. Data. Effects. Database and effects sets. So under first this one. Here is like square, square bracket. Under this one simply copy and paste it and save it. Let's close this one and again I'll just show for a second that you can open it with any notepad editor and you can already see this one here. Maybe for next ones let's go with the notepad so it looks a lot similar as you will have. Alright, so now we are at the part where we add the chest to the game. So again you can see that we need to open survival. Remember here's data, that's for like base game and survival is survival specific. I added effects in the data because they are also in this creative mode used. Right now, uh, let's go to the survival, uh, let's go to the objects, database and shapes it. So let's first copy this one so we don't have to go come back here. Alright, copy this one and shapes it. So open it, open it with notepad. So let's see where we need to under first like square bracket again. Alright, let's scroll to the top, as you can see, this is the first square bracket, don't miss the, mix it with this one, this is not the first, this is the first like square bracket. Press enter and just copy, you can leave it like this so it's like at the side, but I like to press tab so it's like nicely as, uh, aligned. Right, we can close this one, and now we are actually at the last step, last two steps, so now we need to go to the script, so again, go to Back to scrapping kind of game, survival, go to scripts, game and survival player. Let me actually close it. I don't want to edit it. Alright, and let's open it. What? Why I can't open it? Alright, now I'll just show how you can actually open it. That's actually a good thing, it's happened like this. Um, not always, but let's go with notepad and open it all right so this is the file you'll open it and again let's see what we need to do at the top of the file all right so let's take this one 
copy it and at the top of the file you can copy it here under like the, all the do files or you can press enter and just copy it doesn't really matter where you place it it's just that if you place it on the top it looks neater but let's just put it here on the bottom so it's it's basically still at the top of the file so now let's not close this one because we'll need more for it so now let's search for this here it says search for function actually the whole function is also searchable so copy control f paste the line control a v and here is the line we were we were searching for and un under it yeah under it copy this one on create and just press enter and save it now let's not close that file because we still need to search for uh, this line here is this line and uh, we need to paste under it this one on interact all right let's copy it and press enter and save this one and last thing we need to search for uh, this one I guess it's because I had this extra space yeah there is no extra space and all right and under it we need to paste this one on fixed update all right and this one let's see all right now we can close this one file this most intimidating or whatever has said editing because it's really like a, it can mess up your game if you modify something else in here like wrongly but as you can see there's a lot of like stuff you can actually change and HP recovery so yeah you can modify these sets for your own likings as well all right let's close this one and the last thing let's copy it I press ctrl C let me actually copy like this so you can see what I did so copy and we need to go to the survival all right let's go again survival craft bot craft recipes and craft bot JSON let me actually again open it with the text editor so it says under first square bracket so let's open it with a notepad and again under first this symbol just simply paste it at this one and this is for so you can craft it actually in the craft but because the how mod works is you craft the chest and then you place chest on the ground and press C on it and the builder bot will spawn all right so here it says done but I'll show another thing which you can add because right now you won't have like uh, icons for the chest the icon for the chest in the game and I excluded it in this like manual insult because most likely if you insult manually you already have some other mods what you can do is here go to GUI and you have this icon map see here so what you can do actually and I believe I already also showed here so you can copy this one and uh, let's um hmm what is the best way how to do it? Well, let's just, let's just go like this because this is extra you don't really need to. Uh, but here in override folder at, the, at survival GUI, you have these extra icons here at the bottom and also this file. And also like description is here. So you can copy these files manually as well. But there's another way how you can actually install it. And this is the automated way. Which is simply, as you saw, I open it the more folder, which is this one. For you, it will be differently different, but for me, it's like this. Basically, what's important is that you see these two numbers, so you can easily find the more folder. Go to the all right folder and simply copy this thing, but use this method only if you have, don't have any other mods installed. All right, we are back in the scrap mechanic folder and simply paste it but I don't really want to paste it because it will mess up my files which I I still have still have some unfinished mods and I don't want to override them but you can simply override them and you don't have to go through this, this whole thing did I mention it, that there is automated at the bottom or I assume that you'll go to the bottom I guess I have, I'll change the description so you can instant automatically as well and by not having other mods installed I don't mean that you haven't subscribed or what is it that you haven't like modified survival files 
Actually, I really suggest you just go with this manual mode so you can actually see what's modified and when you have to undo or whatever, you know wh why they are here and you don't just replace like random files and you don't really know what they did. And then you have to, if you want to just reinstall the game, you have to actually reinstall and not remove these lines. But yeah, that's pretty much it and that's how you can install it. I really hope it wasn't that long, it was only 12 minutes, so yeah. <laughs> I really hope this was really useful and helpful video for you, so leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in some other videos. Bye!